Hello everyone and welcome back. Oh, I thought they were gonna snuggle for just a second, but no snuggles yet. I'm sure we're gonna end up seeing some snuggles between Blizzard, our Arctic wolf who happens to live here in the northern parts of Shepherd's Nook Village in Ice Ice Outpost Tundra and her parents. Oh, look at her. Did you see her do a little turnaround? Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cute. I really wanna give Blizzard a little bit more of a comfortable home to live live in now that she has been born and has settled in as the second generation of our arctic snow wolves here oh look at that big yawn oh and look i think one of her parents is that mom or dad okay that's dad moose is playing with a big snowball which i think is just so ridiculously cute but all right so guys welcome back to our adventures here in our icy land and merry christmas if you happen to celebrate christmas for whatever reason you do for chips and i it is simply a time to share our family uh joy together to visit with family to like exchange some friends and really celebrate just how wonderful it is to be with the people that we care about and to have kind of just a day of of celebration and and gift giving together as a way to kind of really show that we know what the ones we love really love themselves and sharing their passions and their interest with them and i would like to share the passions and interest of our little wolves with them today as a way to celebrate this special christmas episode so all right we're gonna do that today we're gonna try to spruce up the arctic wolf exhibit and we are totally going to celebrate the fact that come on everything is kind of wintry themed here in shepherd's nook by building and hopefully i can find it let's see if i can find theme arctic there we go oh my freaking gosh look at how cute this is <laughs> look at these giant presents oh my gosh no this tree this tree this is what i want this is what we're gonna stick smack dab in the middle of shepherd's nook because come on what could be better for the growing economy of our small village than convincing people to spend a ton of money on gifts so we're totally going to just put this like right in the center here that is so fantastic and we should have like a whole bunch of um little shop selling souvenirs and gifts that people can take back to wherever they've come from and we should definitely set up a whole bunch of oh cute little benches for people to sit down and maybe admire the christmas tree take some selfies that's what people do nowadays isn't it oh look at these cute little houses holy cow this is adorable there's even a whole bunch of like oh oh my gosh oh my gosh did you guys see that Okay, I have to have this little house. We have to add this little house as one of the little village houses for Shepherd's Nook because that was so freaking precious. And then let's see if our little guests have anything else that they might want. We could even give this person like a cute little, a cute little front yard. Oh, that's so adorable. All right, let's put this here. But you guys, look at that. There's snow that falls down from the eaves. Whoever built this did a fantastic job. Because that is just perfect. Seeing a bunch of snow just kind of come down from the eaves. Seeing smoke come up from the chimney. Oh, and these little trees. I love these trees. I want to actually, like, save the... Oh, look, there's even tiny little Christmas trees. How could I not fall in love with this? That's amazing. I wonder if I can kind of, like... Okay, okay. No, I'm going to have to... Can't do that. Oh, I'm immediately... Oh, okay. Festive spruce. <gasps> the festive spruce is already decorated? Yes! Yes! This is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to grab it and then, like, put it at four corners. Oh, this is so cute! See, somebody in Shepherd's Nook is figuring out, like, oh, if we really want to help the economy of our small village, what we really need to do is convince people to spend some money for their holiday season. Oh, perfect. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, in the in the actual village of Shepherd's Nook, I think we will absolutely use these little decorative trees all covered in lights and glitter and all sorts of shining glory here. I mean, come on, you, you're in this frozen tundra, like basically snow desert, and then you stumble upon this oasis of peppermint and hot chocolate and adorable little trees. This is so cute. I love this. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, we've got to add in like a ton of these cute little trees. I'm not even... Okay, I'm going to level with you guys. Whoops, and I have been editing the Arctic building. I am going to regret that so much later. Holy moly, I'm going to regret that. All right, come here, you. We're going to go ahead and just copy that. We're going to exit there. There. Now I have freed the tree. Oh, that's so cute. All right, let's actually get maybe another little one right there. Because why not? And, oh, I told you guys I was going to regret. I thought I was... I mean, that's kind of cool how I could just, like, add in another another village house and a whole bunch of trees and just be like, they just go wherever they want, but that's not what I meant to do. Anyway, as usual, I have become distracted by trees, and I have to admit, it used to be Christmas wasn't my favorite holiday, it wasn't really my favorite season. I don't really like the focus on gifts as much as I love the focus on family, but it was meeting the love of my life. Chips, my best friend! my fiance now oh my gosh that's still very new just like that only happened a couple weeks ago when you proposed um and then meeting him and seeing how he could really make christmas come to life for it being all about family and we don't even do gifts ourselves we do just donations um to kind of put good into the world from the good of our love for each other instead and it, he really showed me how it could become a magical, magical time. And so now I'm beginning to see Shepherd's Nook as a way to kind of have a magical little, like, Christmas wonder-themed village that leads out into who even knows what else we're going to build. Like a fishing village over here, that would be so freaking cool. And just surround it with panda bears. Or panda bears, polar bears, polar bears. Panda bears also appreciate the cold, but may, perhaps not quite that much. But all right, anyway, we have some cute little Christmas themed things down now. Uh, I would actually like to make a nice little path point where if people wanted to, they could perhaps come. Let's turn right here, obstructed. All right, I'm gonna need to probably move. There we go, this donation box over a teensy bit. So we're gonna scooch it just a bit. And... All right, can we reconnect everything here? Or I have made a huge mess. <laughs> All right, hang on, we're gonna fix this. Sorry, guest. I'm sorry, everyone. My apologies, don't mind me. In fact, we're gonna fix this by backing up. All right, moral of the story is don't ruin Christmas by trying to, to move too many things around. Um, yes, perhaps that won't work. That's okay. All right, let's try over here. And, oh, there we go. There we are. Now we have, like, a little cute spot where people can kind of come off the path to look at the tree. And we can even put down another... Oh, the, the doll sheep are fighting! Not on Christmas, you guys! Look at him! Jacob! Jacob. Really? Cord? Alright, Jacob has higher... Jacob has higher animal appeal. Oh, look at them. Wow, that's so cool to see how they... Oh, there they go! Okay, let's go ahead and release Cord into the wild. There we go. And then Blanket hasn't fought with his brother just yet. And Jacob is definitely the healthier of them. Oh, here we go. And now Blanket, he's like, I am the next contender. No fighting on Christmas, you guys. Blanket, I'm going to go ahead and move you into the other exhibit now. Because you are not quite as... You're... Nope, nope, nope. You're not quite as alpha as the others. And then we'll just move Jacob's mother if she's still around. Yarn. So Yarn is somewhere over here. And we... Oh, Yarn is expecting another baby. That's so cool. But we'll move Yarn and uh, Blanket into another exhibit so that they don't fight. And they can share an exhibit, hopefully, with the reindeer. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, guys. But yeah, so for me, the spirit of Christmas really has become just being able to spend time with my loved ones. Like I said, Chips and I don't even really do gifts to each other very much. We try really hard and we're trying to get more of our family hooked onto just doing donations and then focusing on spending a lot of great time just with one another. Cooking, we love to, to cook and play games and just be close that way and it's really fun. Let's see. Oh, we can get cute little cowberry bushes to kind of fill in the spot. 
Or a little diamond leaf willow. All right. I mean, oh, we could probably put oh, a cool ice rock sculpture of some kind. That would be kind of fun to have like an ice rock there. And maybe just have a pretty little ice sculpture. But it also would be nice to have plants because I think that would be fun. Or we could have a tiny little snowman. <laughs> All right, actually having a snowman there might be kind of fun. Because I do like having the snowman scattered about too. So let's grab our snowman. Who's also, unfortunately... How did I get this snowman? There we go. Out of the group. Oh, we have so much to update. I'm in a Christmas panic because there's just so much to do. But we got a huge Christmas tree here. And now I'm excited about making it like a little winter wonderland thing. And we'll go ahead and put... I think I can actually... Yeah, there we go. Kind of make this snowman look a little smaller. That's so cute! All right, I'm really happy with this. Uh, oh, and I can even put a bow on him now! <gasps> and maybe even, like, put some little gifts around the base of these trees. That is freaking precious! I love it. I love it. And hopefully people will feel, like, inspired from seeing this. There's also the polar bear. We don't have a polar bear just yet. Okay, let's see. What we do have, though... Hey, come back here. What we do have are like these cute little arctic planters that I could fill with something. And oh, the little sculptures. <laughs> okay, those are kind of adorable. Oh, we could put them all over the front of the uh, the reindeer exhibit that we're working on making. That would be really precious too. <gasps> and we could have a whole bunch of these wooden pieces. Oh, that'd be adorable. As like a way to be like, this is where the, um, this is where the, Lumberjacks live because this is going to be the Lumberjacks house. So this will just be like Lumberjack Lane right over here We'll work on Fixing that up in a bit. Oh look at these signs What I didn't even know that there were signs like these. That's so cool. I Love this. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun Doing more updates. There's even little arctic woven trees There's signposts that we can do fun things with all right, we'll play with those later. I was supposed to update the wolves today to celebrate Christmas. So let's go ahead and do that. I do want to, okay, I said that, but I do want to grab a couple seats for people. Is there an Arctic bench? Yes, kind of cute. All right, there we go. Now I'm happy. This is going to be such a cute little village. I just love how we've got a few little bits and pieces started. And we do have somebody's new house. So, which are the, what are the villagers we have? Yay! And the vets are busy, busy doing research. So let's go ahead and look at all of our staff. And I don't think that... I don't think that the candy makers or the snow artists have a place to stay yet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this uh, the snow... Or let's, yeah, snow artist abode. So that's where our snow artist happens to live, which I love. And she's taken it upon herself to really start decorating. Oh, we could put on a whole bunch of these cute little glowing globes all over the place to glow in the snow. I love it. Yes, we're going to have a very cute village with Shepherd's Nook. I think we need to focus more on getting quilts spread around Shepherd's Nook as well. Uh, but at least having the very center of town sort of focusing on this festive cheer, especially to get people to spend their money and, like, help the economy of Shepherd's Nook, I think that's a good idea. All right, enough of my meandering and my rambling. Let's go ahead and see what we can do for our Arctic Wolves now that we have actually learned everything that there is to know about them. <gasps> oh, what did I tell you guys? I knew we would get them playing together eventually. That is so precious. All right, let's actually smooth this ground out. Because I feel like, oh no. I feel like they're just really at a sharp angle there. Unbox all animals. Sorry about that, Icy. Oh no. I totally forgot to put our solar panel that we added in over here into the work zone. That's my bad. All right, let's get this into the work zone. There we go. 
so that the dock workers and lumberjacks will take care. There, look at that. Who ran over here so fast? Lumberjack Nikki, that was amazing. Good job, I'm really impressed. Let's go ahead and give her, there we go, some training and a little bit more income. And then let's come back in here and transform the terrain into dirt for our wolves so that they don't have to worry about that terrible long grass they hate. And then let's figure out what we can do to make little Winter, our little blizzard pup, very happy. So let's see. She would like more food enrichment and more toy enrichment. And then for environment, she could actually use a lot more coverage. She wouldn't mind having a ton of fantastic trees. She just wants to make sure that it's taiga or tundra. And these large trees actually don't count, which I didn't realize. So we'll go ahead and remove the large trees. And let's look up tundra and taiga there. Oh, the spruce trees, of course. Oh, they're beautiful. Here we go. Now we're gonna have a happy little wolf pup, hopefully. Oh, this is a huge spruce tree. That's absolutely gloriously huge. Uh, we'll go ahead and add that in here too. I could see like it, eagles, owls, all sorts of creatures nesting in these. Let's add in a couple more. I think we'll have to mostly do smaller trees. Unless I kind of shrink it down like this. Oh, very nice. Look, and you can make them look like they're just shorter trees, which is really fun. All right. And then let's move this one over. Oh, and Yarn's about to have a baby. It's going to be a little Christmas baby. Oh, that'll be so fun. Oh, I love it when they do that. Moose loves to knock that off of the cliffside. It's just amazing. All right. And then let's see what else we have for the wolves. So we have also got... Ooh, these... Oh, look at these cowberry bushes. These are fantastic for being able just to sprinkle along the ground. Oh, you guys, we're going to have a much better wolf exhibit by the time we're done tonight. This is going to be fantastic. We'll make this a beautiful home for our wolves so that generation upon generation of them will be able to thrive and be happy here. Yarn has had her baby, which is so exciting. Oh my gosh, it's a gold level baby girl. What a perfect little Christmas miracle. We're gonna go ahead and name her Christmas, I think. Um, Christmas Joy. There we go. She'll be Christmas Joy, the itty bitty baby. Oh, and she actually wants something to play with and, and to eat too. So let's get some. All right, species, doll sheep. Everybody deserves some Christmas presents today. I totally am behind that. We'll get a small barrel feeder grazing ball we'll get a grazing ball in here and then actually let's get a hanging grazing feeder in here it might be a little tricky for the sheep but this is eventually going to have some reindeer in it and then let's put down so that's good for food and now she wants a little toy tiny little sheep wants a little toy which is so cute uh we'll put in the grab ball for now because i always think it's so fun when they play with the grab ball and then we'll also put in the rubbing pillar. Rubbing pillars are stubborn. There we go. All right, there you guys go. Some Christmas presents for them. And we'll add in some Christmas presents for the wolves. I really do wanna make their whole area look a lot more naturalistic and nice, but let's add in the gifts for them first. So we'll start there. So let's come down. And then we're going to have our beautiful Arctic wolves, who I'm so happy have come to join us. Arctic, Arctic wolf, there we go. Oh, and we can actually give them the gift box enrichment item. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. All right, let's actually give them the gift box up here, because I love watching them play with it, like, up on top of their spots. And then let's put in... Let's remove this old dog ball and let's actually add in the rotation line feeder the, yeah let's add in the rotation line feeder 
and have them kind of jump up into the trees for the food that they can play with. There we are. Okay, that's actually, it made a big dent. So let's move this. Right here, there. All right, and then let's see if that is adequate for them to play with. Where's, oh, there she is, the little baby. Yay, all right, so now she is super happy and we'll start giving them better nutrition as well. So we'll upgrade their nutrition. Let's see. Food quality to super high grade three quality because we know everything that there is to know about our beautiful arctic wolves and speaking of how beautiful they are let's try to give them a nicer exhibit where people can really get a good view of them too hmm how to make it so people can really see them we'll focus on just making it look nicer for now and that'll be their, their Christmas gift from me to them, hopefully, when the snows return. I guess we could make it snowy in here. Like, in, and, and I love how it stays cold enough that some of the snow never melts. That's kind of cool. All right. Oh, little flower clusters. I should make little flower clusters. That would make decorating all of this stuff. Oh, look at the Himalayan pines. <gasps> Oh, those are so cool. I think I want to replace a few of these trees with the Himalayan pines. Because they just look epic. Alright. Merry Christmas, my little wolves. The people of Shepherd's Nook care deeply for you. I know it's shown in interesting ways. But they will restore the wildlife of your little your little cave, your little canyon. Ooh, all oh, the giant cedar trees! Who am I kidding? Oh my gosh, I want to give them a big old cedar tree. That is absolutely what I want to do. Red cedar giant. Oh, that's fantastic. How could I possibly pretend I wanted anything else to decorate my taiga? Like, forget these little trees. They can just get out of here. I want these giant... Oh, and the festive spruces are right there. Nice! And the festive spruces already come, like, totally decorated, which is fantastic. Oh, I love these trees. Oh my gosh, this is huge. I love these trees. <laughs> of course I would want that to be, like, the natural break in the mountain range. Oh, this is going to be great, guys. I know it still looks a little rough around the edges. Oh, somebody just... <laughs> Moose, did you knock it off again? It was Moose. I love how he just has so much fun knocking off all of his little enrichment items. Oh, let's do some ice bridges. That would be great for him. We could do some ice bridges to make the climbing area a little easier for them. There we go. Now we're starting to get some ideas. All right. I can tilt this just slightly. And then, here we go, and like that. Oh, this is so fun. You guys, it'll be slowly but surely, but we're gonna make something very special happen. We're gonna make something beautiful and fun. Oh, let's just cover this whole thing. Like a little ice there. That's so cool. But it is going to be beautiful and fun. And we're slowly going to transform Ice Ice Outpost and all of its little villages and all of its little mountains into something very special. All right, let's pull this up. I really love the ice a lot. We will have a lot of fun. Oh, I hear the puppy. A lot of fun building some different things with the ice. Whoa, we're inside the mountain. Nobody panic. <laughs> oh, I can hear the puppy playing. I love that. There we go. A little bit more boulder-like. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, we should do a waterfall. Yes, that would be so cool to make it look like there's a little frozen waterfall that then can come down here and pull into... Ooh, down here, actually. That would be perfect. Look, we already have a spot where we could make a little frozen waterfall. That's so cool. 
All right, let's come on down here. We'll say that the waterfall pours down from that spot into down here. There we go. Where hopefully it can make a nice little, there we go, nice little path. I think we need to lower this a little bit more. Oh, he's playing with his toy. He really loves his toys. I love Moose. He seems like just such a super hyper playful wolf. We'll add in some rough rocks down here. Leading into... Oh, look at that! Leading into this watery cave place. That's so cool. We definitely need to get, like, something to purify the water for sure. And then we just need to add in construction, special effects, water. And then it's just a matter of adding in some water. Oh, even water jets. Oh, to make it look like it's melting. That would be really fun. Water jets, waterfall, midsection. Oh, there we go. What did I tell you guys? Anything that you can dream, any little creative idea that just kind of pops into your head, you can make happen in Planet Zoo. And that is one of the reasons I love it so, so, so much, because this was fantastic. Then we can come on in and even, there we go. We can even, oh, let's break that up and then we can do a log, like a little log to a spot right here where the wolves could perhaps rest. Oh, I love that. Even push it in. Oh, let's push it in like this. There. Oh, that's so cool. All right, guys. A little bit of a Christmas present. It's a little bit of an odd one. We're going to turn this and transform this into a really fun cave area. That's looking even better now. <laughs> oh, that's fun. All right, well, we need to make sure that the water is going to be purified. <gasps> Look at him run across the ice. That is so awesome. That was so cool. All right, I see. Are you going to knock this off? She's giving it some nudges. She's playing with her little <laughs> gift. <laughs> All right. This is perfect. Look at how beautiful we have made this. A little bit at a time. It will take time to make Ice Ice Outpost as amazing as we hope. Uh, I think that she is at least enjoying her gift and the new icy waterfall we have created for her. Oh, look at her. She just threw it. Oh, this is so cool. She threw it straight into the waterfall. <sighs> Oh, I see. Girl, that was beautiful. That was just beautiful. All right, let's see. Can we get a good look at her? All right. So there we go, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this special Christmas episode as I see our beautiful Arctic wolf, mother of winter. I think I called her blizzard earlier and I totally meant winter. But mother of winter is slowly, slowly but surely taking charge. I see. There we go taking charge of her beautiful home. So if you guys could do please leave a like for Icy and our Arctic Wolves as they get used to their gorgeous mountain, which is going to continue to transform right under their paws. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please be sure to subscribe. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.